What's up guys? Today is Thursday. That means it's Mac Daddy Michael Thursday. There's the truck. So let's go do this. Come on. What you know good? It's almost Friday. Man, I'm ready for work. Well, I see you got something new up here. Yeah, uh, Michael Gordon's truck. Um, I saw him this week and he had some of those made up. Um, it's a little That's different cool. deal. Uh, hats he had made just for the breast cancer deal. I think he's donating proceeds to Man, yeah. the Breast Cancer Foundation and whatnot. So. I got to get one of them. That's cool. I like him. That's cool he's doing that, you know. <clears throat> I wish Mac as a whole would do something kind of like the way that uh, Matco's doing it. It'd be kind of neat to do a line of pink something tools or ratchets or something. Something, you know. But... Yep. Yeah. Be pretty neat. That it would. What you got right there? Wheel bullet. For uh, a lot of your foreign cars, that the lug nuts instead of the lug studs sticking out. Yeah. Oh yeah. Lug nuts on them, yeah. You got the bolts that you have to screw in. You can screw those in where those go. Mm -hmm. And then and hang your rim. Therefore, you can sit it on there and line it up, and then you know start your bolts and pull that back out. That's pretty cool right there. Mm-hmm. Pretty neat. And they make them in different packs where you can get like two for each vehicle. Two for each different thread pattern, or four for each different thread pattern as well. That's cool. So, what uh, what is that other thing you got hanging up here? Just a valve core wrench. A little small pocket size valve core tool. Well, I don't ever get to look at some of the stuff on your truck because I'm always looking through the camera lens. So when I get to look around, I see. But you got so much stuff on here, man. It take you a week to go through it all. A long time. Yeah. Got some peanuts. Probably pretty good barbecue. I know that beef jerky is fine. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you that's like the, that stuff, don't you? Yeah, buddy. That stuff's good. That beef and cheese sticks is fabulous. Um, I got one of the new stream lights in. I don't know if you've seen one of these yet or not. Oh, the 2020s? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Those are cool. It's got the high, medium, and low. I like how you can change the brightness that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are nice. I like the, I didn't think I would like the grip on it to start with. But I do. I like the flat grip, you know. It's almost like a pistol grip. Mm-hmm. Like if you flip it around and hold it the other way, you know, like most guys will hold the, the head of it. Like yeah. that, hold it like that and feel it. Yeah, that's a lot better, isn't it? It, uh, it and you know if your hands are only two. It's mm -hmm. fine. Yep. I bought one of the Stinger HPs. I think's what it is. The that comes with a piggyback charger, and um, man, I like that thing. It's the HL with the bigger round mm -hmm. head on it. I've got the regular one too that's got the smaller head, but the exactly. one with the big head, dude, that choker is bright. Yes. <laughs> uh, I've sold several too of the, uh, the 3500 lumen. one. I guess it's the Pro Tac where you got to pull the batteries oh, out yeah, and charge yeah. the batteries. That joker, I mean, it. it that was bright. my only negative with that one. Is you, don't you had it, to. I mean, if you leave it on for any period of time, though, you don't want to get your hand close to the end of it. It's hot. That was the only reason I didn't go with that one was because you had to take the batteries out to charge it. Mm -hmm. Man, I like it just snapping in the charger and walk away. Don't worry about it. Man, look at this. Got some little. What was that RC trucks or something? Mm -hmm. How cool is that? Like a little Hot Wheels type deal for Man, the kids. That is cool right there. I like that. 
holds 12 cars. We even got a car launcher out the back of it, I think. Heck yeah. Man, what would you do if you was eight year old and your pop come home with one of them for you? <laughs> Man, you wouldn't be able to tell me nothing. I'd have cars everywhere. Yeah, see, you load the car in the back, you pull on it and it shoots it out the front. Man, yeah. That is cool right there. I remember when me and my brother, when we were kids, got one of the little tracks you put your Hot Wheels on. It was a crisscross crash. You had to oh, the yeah, they had the it. loops on and it. They would all interchange, and mm -hmm. time to time they all hit right in the middle, and cars go everywhere. <laughs> we had those, uh, I remember one year for Christmas, me and my brother got this racetrack, and it had the a yellow and a red remote. And it was like inside the remote, you could see like the brush that would go mm -hmm. up and, and make it go faster. But it was just, uh, you know. It had the little pins on the bottom yeah, of the car. Yeah. I don't, I don't remember. Slot racers or something, I think is what they mm -hmm. called them. But those were, I thought that was the coolest thing. And then you'd go too fast and it'd sling them off in the curve. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then after a little while, after you play with them for a while, the remote quits working because the little spring inside don't make contact anymore but man that was fun and uh the first remote control car which you're you're a lot younger than me so you probably gonna remember this but there'll be some people on the video that will the first remote control cars i had had a wire on them so you had to walk with it right and then i remember they come out with the wireless remotes Man, I wanted one of those cars so bad, but they was expensive back then. It was oh, like $60 yeah. for one. And uh, my grandmother got us a set of those, but she didn't know that the frequencies, you know, nothing about. Of course, I didn't either, you know, as a kid. Same, so. But me and my brother got one, and like one remote would drive both cars. <laughs> <laughs> so it couldn't blow at the same time. But I thought that was the coolest thing ever. You didn't have to walk behind them and my dad he hated that because they just eat batteries mm -hmm. you know it took like six double a's in the car and it didn't last no time like 15 minutes they was dead so one goes front yard one goes back yard <laughs> but man i remember we first got them all together and set it down and i think he did my brother's first was putting the batteries in it and getting it ready of course my brother was trying to play with his and as soon as he put the batteries in there the wheels started spinning so he's like, would you quit messing with the remote? I'm like, I'm not, t I, didn't, I didn't even have the remote in my hand. And it was his car doing that. And he's going to get all mad at me thinking I was spinning wheels. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, it ain't me this time. But yeah, it was, uh, that was fun back in the day. I miss, I miss those days, especially now when you don't do nothing but work all the time. Mm -hmm. Like I remember when I was a kid, I was like, God, I can't wait till I get grown make my own money, do what I want to do. And then now it's like, boy, I wish I could go back. Mama make me peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and watch TV. Yeah, that, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh me, some reminiscing. That's a pretty cool hose pinch off plier right there. Mm-hmm. Watch the way they got the bent handles on it. Yeah, they, uh, those are handy little deal. Got some of our fall show stuff in. Got some more screwdrivers in. And what all did y'all pick up at the fall show? Still waiting on a lot of them to come in. It's just getting, it's to getting part of it in right now. So yeah. They're starting to trickle some orders into us. That's good. Got that, a bunch more Nipix pliers in. And that DeWalt radio is pretty sharp right there. It is. I, that's, it's actually a pretty good little radio. I've sold a bunch of those. Sound pretty good. It does. It, uh. It, it'll travel pretty well. That's good. Man, it's, I can do a lot of work, but if I got a radio on, it don't seem like it's as, <laughs> as aggravating, you know. One of my customers, they got a shop truck for the body shop, and the uh, radio quit in the truck. So he bought one of them, yeah. and he Velcroed it to the dash on it. <laughs> he sent me a picture of it the other day. He said, new shop truck radio. There you go. Man, whatever works, right? I got these in. I don't know if you've seen these or not for line wrenches. Hmm. Ratcheting line wrenches. Yeah. The jaw just opens and closes on it. I wonder if they work pretty good. Uh, I've sold several sets to my forklift shop. Hmm. They like them? They love them. Yeah. 
as long as they work. Plus, they having the flex head in them too. They really yeah. enjoy that part of it. That's true. I'm a fan of those Trebus uh, ratchet and line wrenches. I like them a lot. I've not seen any of them besides on your videos. They're good. And then their new O2 sensor wrench. Mm -hmm. Dude, it's great. It, uh, it works on O2 sensors and knock sensors. Like, I wish they could get to where tool trucks could sell them. Because if they could ever get to that point, you know, where a guy can finance it. Because they're like 130 bucks for that O2 sensor wrench and knock sensor. But it works so well. You know, if a guy can buy it on the truck and that way he can finance it, I think a lot of people would be more accessible to it. And, damn, they just work. Like, they work good. So, hopefully, you know, Mac will pick them up or somebody like that, yeah. you know, and guys can have a little easier access to them. Sockets out there that we found cleaning up the shop the other weekend. Oh, that is cool. Quarter inch precision torque. Mm -hmm. It's the uh, POW MIA edition deal that they did. It's got the dog tags, the flashlight, metric standard shorts and deeps, all in the blue motor case. Oh, that's cool. Well, I bet that Joker's expensive. It's not terrible. With all that. And like a pelican case, too. Hmm. That's cool. So what does that ruin? I'll have to punch the number in on it. It pulls up pretty high, but we bought it on a special. Man, I like that. It just don't have a ratchet in it, right? It does not. Well, that's a pretty cool set. It would been neat if they would have put that in it, too. Mm-hmm. Which I'm sure there's room to stick one in there. Oh, but there is. There's plenty of room in it. That is cool, though. I like that specialty stuff like it's, that. You, you know, know that's something different and neat. You yeah. know. I know these. Uh, Y'all got these right here. Those have become my favorite socket holders. I like them cute. so much better than these plastic peg ones. People either love them or they hate them. I like it because the friction fit on them. Man, I'll... Just push it on. Mm-hmm. I love that style. I like a deep socket if you go to move it around. Does it hold it pretty good? Well, I mean, I leave mine in the toolbox. I don't right. tote the whole tray. Right. You know, I don't know. I've never tried to move it loaded because I leave it in the toolbox drawer, but... Man, I like it so much better than them pegs. Open and closing your drawer. It don't fall mm -mm. over or anything. No. Because the little rubber... He hadn't got any open, but they're actually a soft rubber that's on here. Okay. And it kind of squeezes, you know, like the the drive body size. And they work great. I love them. I got the blue ones, and hell, I wished I had 20 more sets of them where I could do all my sockets with them, because I love them. I had the pig style, and man, I don't know. I just wasn't a fan of them. I didn't like the way they looked. Something else I got in that we hadn't looked at. I don't know if that's not what you show yet. Impact extension sets. But they're not just extensions. They're universal extensions. So I said I always happen to have a universal socket. I got the foam tray. I think it's ready for a toolbox drawer. And it all lays in there, right? I like that foam tray. Man, it looks good in a box. I wish we could get sockets and wrenches and everything in them. Mm-hmm. But it's got your quarter, your three-eighths, and half. Um, universal extensions. It's got them 6-inch and 12-inch. Yeah, those are nice. And they're not a pin. I mean, it's the... Oh, the pinless style. That's yeah, good. Yeah, it's like a pinless style. You get a lot more rotation out of them. Right. So, That's a cool set. I just oh, got there. some of these in. So I can get a good shot across that. There's the part number. Yeah, those are nice. 
I like the way they did that two color too, you know, the black and the blue. Mm -hmm. And that looks really good. Are those pretty salty? I've not looked them up since I got them in. It's been a while since I've had a set of them. I'd have to punch them in and see. 277. 277. That's not too bad. Not for having the 6 inches and the 12 inches yep. plus this tray for them to go in. And mm -hmm. It's nice yep. to put them in a tray and I know I see what's supposed to be there. I know I've probably got at least 20 Instagram messages and other comments and stuff recently. Everybody's asking about when they're going to do the millimeter the metric set of those wrenches that they always have every year. It's such have, a good deal. If I had to guess, it's going to be around first of the year. I said, man, I don't know, but I wish they'd come on. <laughs> I'd like to have a set myself, you know, because those things are fine. And the cases that they come in, you know, most cases that you buy wrenches in, they suck. Like, mm -hmm. that's the first thing you do is jerk them out of the case and throw them away. But... Is that like, I like yeah. how you can clip them in, close them up, yeah. if, it, if, it, if it opens up. If not, you can just clip it in and take the whole set. Mm -hmm. I like that. That's the best factory design wrench holder I believe they've made so far. So it, it beats having just a tray laying there with them just sitting on it. Mm -hmm. I like it because you can grab the whole thing. Like, if you know, if you got it in your toolbox drawer, you got it laid open, you can fold it in half and take it with you mm -hmm. and have all your wrenches in one lick. So. Yep. They're nice. I'm definitely going to be getting a set when they when they finally put them out there. Cause man, it seems like it's been been waiting on them a year. <laughs> yeah, I asked me that day. He said, "Man, when's some unicorn wrenches going to come back out? When y'all going to put them on sale again?" Unicorn wrenches. Unicorn wrenches. <laughs> so I can get them any time. I just can't get them on sale any time. Yep. That's the time to buy them's on sale. Them things are nice. Well, man, I want to buy that stinking truck. I don't even got no kids <laughs> that plays with trucks. You can take it home and play with it yourself. Boy, my wife would think there's something wrong with me. She come in, I'm sitting there on the floor playing with Hot Wheels again. You have fun every now and then. <laughs> I'd have to just leave it up here to shop that way and hide it from her. Or just put it put it in the shop there for when all the guys come over, you know, there's something to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> it is cool though, I like it. I'm hoping they just keep going with that die cast set, mm -hmm. that collection of them, because that was a really good, cool little thing that they did. Especially as much detail as they put into it. Yep. Like that mud on the windshield and stuff, man, that was so cool. Like it was... And I wouldn't have never noticed that because most people probably will never take it out of the box, but yeah. I had to take mine out of the box. And at, play least, at least look, take it out and look at it. Yeah. <laughs> I had to take it out and blow it. I guess I'm going to get back in here and get to work and get you paid up and start a new, start a new job and go on about my day. But I don't I, know if Michael will have any of these pink hats, but if you guys are interested in them, you can give him a call. What's your phone number again? 662-871-0088. And all the proceeds of the hats go to breast cancer research, I'm assuming. I believe that's what he's doing. I... So. But, but all right, guys, like always, thanks for watching this video. If you like it, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check over here. And um, if you want some merchandise, cool tools, discount codes, and just click that subscribe button. Just click it right there.